Hello, this is Terrell Pauley with LearnHealthCareIT.com. And today what I wanted to talk to you about is I want to give you a list of the 10, uh, 10 different types of information technology jobs. Now, where I got this list from actually is from a list that actually describes the, the 10 best technology jobs to have in 2018. I'm going to put that actually that the link in the description below. Now I'm going to give you nine that are from that list. And I added one that was from, uh, from a IT position that's well, healthcare IT position that, uh, you know, it's kind of near and dear from, to me, from, to, from, uh, from what I did. So, um, for a number of years. So with that, let's, let's get started with the, uh, with the list here with number one. So number one is computer support, uh, specialist. So, a computer support support specialist is pretty much a front line of the uh, you know IT support sort of um, you know system to where they are kind of like the, the the front line. So when somebody has a so when an end user when somebody calls in to the help desk when they need support or something maybe you know they have a they lock their they, they lock themselves out of their their Windows account, they forgot their password, uh, they their email, their email is, is hung up, you know, they have a problem with their email. So, you know, they'll call the, the help desk number, whatever help, help desk number that is, and they'll call into the support line. And typically the uh, computer support specialist, the support specialist is pretty much the first line, first line of defense for for fielding these types of questions. So uh, so they they are uh, you know that's that's computer support specialists are more on the lines of uh, kind of entry level positions per se. Now you can I'm pretty sure that you can actually get higher levels. You know you can be support specialists. You know level one, level two, level three, and the more levels that you go, the the more experienced that you are, the the more in depth you know, your your skills are, and typically when you reach certain levels as a support specialist, you may not necessarily be building the first frontline uh, calls. Maybe you'll be second tier calls or third tier, tier calls or something like that along those lines as you, as you, uh, as you grow in your, your experience. So that's, that's pretty much, so computer support specialist, pretty much the end. And they'll have like a general skill set that they either, you know, they'll, they either, combination of they already knew when they got hired or that they kind of learn on, on the job uh, depending upon the type of uh, you know the type of actually uh, the type of company that they actually are working for so I'm gonna try to go a little bit quicker with this uh, through this list I don't want to spend a lot of time but if you wanted me to actually I guess uh, break down kind of like these 10 and maybe in more general terms like or, or one go into more depth, then I can probably, I can do that too as well in a future video. So number two, a computer systems analyst. Computer systems analyst is someone that actually analyzes, they kind of reviews the, the actual system, the actual network or system that what they're actually in. And they want to make sure that it's operating efficiently, effectively. They're going to want to see where they can make improvements at and that's typically what a systems analyst uh, brief overview of what they do, and uh, and so um, they 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 are with improving processes and just improving systems to make sure everything is functioning optimally. Number three, number three is a computer systems uh, admin or systems sysadmin systems admin. So a systems administrator rather is someone that actually oversees and manages the uh, the um, uh, the actual system, the actual computer, you know, system, the network, the environment that they're in, they oversee and manage to make sure that uh, uh, that data is actually everything is actually uh, being housed. Data, as far as it's maintained where it's supposed to be, uh, systems are actually up and running. You know, scheduled backups, users, groups, you know, Active Directory. They are managing that whole environment and they're overseeing that 
just to make sure that, every, that everything is running smoothly. And they're different from a systems analyst because a systems analyst typically, you know, again, they are more, uh, their skill set is more focused on, you know, reviewing, analyzing, improving, whereas the systems administrator is at a kind of like a higher tier, tier sort of overall view of managing everything that makes sure that make sure that everything that they monitor and um, they oversee as far as the servers, as far as the computers, everything is just um, in sync and um, and that everything is is uh, is actually operational and running as expected. So that's the system computer systems administrator. Let's go next to one uh, that I actually put in. Here's the one healthcare IT, uh, the health information technology um, job that I actually put in there for number four is a PAX administrator. So a PAX administrator is actually someone that's, it's a, it's a, it's an IT position, but they're actually, they work in the actual, the healthcare IT role and they're in that world. So it's a subset within information technology, which, which is healthcare IT. And that's where PAX administrators live. Now you may not have not heard of PAX administrators. A lot of people in IT, they, uh, they don't. So, but if you want to learn, so a PAX administrator, they, they manage and oversee PAX systems make sure that everything with the PACs is working efficient, uh, efficiently, workflows are going as ex expected. There is um, kind of like similar to a, to a systems ad administrator. They're making sure that everything is running smoothly. They are um, kind of like a, a systems administrator, you can, you can kind of say, uh, but, they, but they're, managing, they're managing actually PAC systems. And if you wanna learn more about PAC systems and what you know, PAX is all about. You can actually, uh, I have a ton of, uh, a lot of content on, you know, within my channel to where you can actually learn. That's what up my channel is pretty much all about, you know, focus on healthcare IT. You can learn all about that. And, um, you know, but that's actually what I did for four years. So let's move on to number five. Number five is a database administrator. So database administrator, is someone that manages and, and oversees and runs the, the, the actual database that, that they're in charge of. They make sure that uh, the databases are are up and running. They make sure that everything is, you know, all, all of the parts, aspects of the database is running as expected as supposed to be. And, you know, database admins, uh, that's what they're, they, they're, they're pretty much, they're focused on. Let's go next to a uh, computer programmer. So a computer programmer is someone that actually, is, you know, their their main focus is programming, program, you know, actually programming, sitting down and programming, uh, uh, you know, writing, writing, programming code. You know, they're, they're focused on coding. So uh, that's pretty much what a programmer does for, and so number seven, is a software developer. So software developer is someone who actually is in, is, is someone who actually oversees the, uh, the design, the implementation, uh, the actual, you know, um, the entire life cycle of actual, of building an application. So they actually are involved with, you know, they have a problem they come in, they, they, that they have, or they, they need to solve or an idea. They turn that idea into a design. They design the actual application. They actually will be involved with building it, testing it, releasing it, and also working on, you know, after the, the releasing and, and after and uh, actually making updates and modifications and changes. So a software developer is involved with the entire life cycle of developing an application. Whereas typically, if you are labeled as only as a programmer, then your main focus is actually just coding the app, the application. You may be, you may be, depending on depending on the size of the actual company that you work for, if they if they're big enough to where you're there's a difference between software developers 
and computer programmers, then the software develop developer may be actually designing the actual application that's neat, that uh, that you know doing the ap actual application design and making the requirements design, and then they'll actually pass it on to the programmer to actually so the pro the programmer can implement the the software developer's design and bring 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 their his or her uh, application to life. So that's kind of like the difference between a programmer, a, a brief, short difference between a computer programmer and a software developer. So, okay. so now let's move on to number eight. So number eight is a web developer. So a web developer is somebody who actually uh, de develops and creates websites. They're all about that um, websites on the web and they are, uh, that's, that's, I mean, that's pretty much what the web, web developers do. Number nine, number nine is a information security analyst. So information security analysts, they're pretty much, um, their main focus is actually analyzing, reviewing, and improving security aspects of their, their system environment of, of which they work in and make sure that uh, they're optimizing security Make sure, uh, make sure that there's no uh, gaps or uh, potential open areas for breaches and security, and 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 uh, just to make sure that everything's operating smoothly, efficiently, and effectively. And they are concerned with optimizing to make sure that everything in regards to their to the information uh, security is that is intact. And there's no worries for any any sort of data loss, uh, data loss, data data um, data breach, data corruption, and so things of that nature. And lastly, number ten is a computer network architect. So, computer network architect is a person that actually designs. Uh, they design. They build. You know, data communication networks. So. And, and and that's in regards to um, can things networks such as local area networks, wide area networks, uh, different types of data communication networks, and they are uh, network architects. As you think of you know if you think if you think about an architect in general, architect is someone that actually is 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 overseas and just uh, from the from the project from the get go. Just making sure that the that the what they're building, um, they take a multitude of different data points, um, information, just to make sure that what they're what they're building is able to meet the specs of their customer, um, the environment that they're in, um, in internal and outside uh, factors that come into play, and they take a variety of different concepts to be able to. You know, design and build uh, different types of uh, ne uh, data network communications. So, those are the, the ten. Those are ten different types of, of healthcare IT jobs. I'm gonna just kind of. So, number one was a computer support specialist. Those typically they'll they'll get paid maybe maybe kind of like the 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 least out of the ten that we talked about because just because of the skill set level required in order to do the job. So number one is computer support specialist. Number two is uh, computer systems analyst. Number three, computer systems administrator. Number four, PAX administrator. Number five, a database administrator. Number six is a computer programmer. Number seven is a software developer. Number eight is a web developer. Number nine is an information security analyst. And number 10 is a computer network architect. So those are the 10 different types of um, uh, healthcare, uh, excuse me, 10 different types of information technology systems. Again, so you'll be able to, I'm gonna put in the link below where the list where I got the nine of these from, which uh, again is a website that says that these are the top 10, minus the one that I mentioned, but um, Top, what I mentioned, the top nine 
technology jobs 2018 and for different reasons and actually and so number, number 10 but the one that I added in there for a PAX administrator is something that that's no near and dear to me because again that's something that I actually did for four years it's a field that I'm in um, within healthcare IT in general so uh, and if you again if you want to learn more about that take a look at my channel and so and if you're interested in uh, in other information in regards and uh, along those lines so I hope that these uh, hope that these uh, this information was helpful for for you if um, you know let me know you know if you like this video you know give me a thumbs up leave a comment session you know comment in the sections below if you have any comments or questions about what I just talked about if you have any suggestions about if um, you wanted me to actually do something a little different besides uh, what I'm doing right now. Typically, when I'm doing my videos, as far as my listing, I typically have it actually already like when I do a PowerPoint presentation, but I'm trying something a little a little different to where I, uh, I just have my list that's on my laptop screen and I just kind of would just talk to you uh, full screen like so. So again, I hope this was helpful. Until next time, my name is Terrell Pauly. Take care.